Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. So today I thought that I would do um, my thoughts and opinions on Jared and Ellie's IVF grant and also tell you guys the reasons why I didn't apply for it since we struggle with infertility and we've been trying to have another baby for um, quite some time now. So um, you have to excuse me because I'm still pretty sick. We've been super sick for the past, I don't know, three, three and a half weeks now. Um, I am starting to feel a lot better physically, but I still am having, um, a little bit of breathing problems in my nose and everything, everything's still congested. So, um, I'm just going to get right into the video. Um, I don't want it to last too, too long. Um, so I found Jared and Allie through Missy Lanning's channel. Um, I was looking up reasons like why people have miscarriages and, wanted to hear like other people's uh, miscarriage stories and different things like that since I had just suffered um, a miscarriage right before I got pregnant with my daughter. So um, that's when I stumbled across Missy's channel and I was kind of looking in like the vid, vid videos. Oh my gosh. The videos. The videos <laughs> underneath like that you can scroll that, um, scroll through. I, um, I cannot say squirrel. I, I, I always mix it up. Scroll. I was trying to say scroll and I said squirrel. Whatever. Uh, okay. Boom. So anyways, I found Jared and Allie's channel through that and um, I just like fell in love with them. Obviously, I had already like um, seen Missy and everything and like I'd already fallen in love with her. After that one video, I was just like loved everything about her. I loved her spirit and just like who she was and her personality everything was just like so sweet and genuine and um so since that day I have actually both started following both of them and following their journeys and different things like that um and that was in April of 2014 so Jackson was just a few months old um and I kind of just literally binge watched everything <laughs> I was like um I was on bed rest and different things like that because I was having complications during my pregnancy and so what better time to, um, to sit there and binge watch an entire like YouTube channel. So I, um, I kind of came across their infertility story and just kind of watched everything and different things like that and have, um, seen their struggles and different stuff like that. And so, um, when I found out that they were doing the IVF grant, um, not in 2016, I think it was, um, the first time that they did it around, I was like so shocked and thought it was like so crazy and not crazy in a bad way, like crazy in a good way that they would like totally, um, you know, do that for people. I mean, especially cause obviously they knew how it was to sit there and struggle, um, and stuff like that. So I was just like an utter shock. I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing this. Like they're, they're so amazing, like amazing people. Um, I wish I knew them. <laughs> and so like, um, I was just like, oh my gosh, like the baby, this is my chance to apply. Cause we had been trying to have a child and, um, another child. So, um, I kind of just was like, mm, maybe I should apply. Maybe I shouldn't. I kind of just trying to decide. And I told my husband about it and he was just kind of like, mm, didn't really, he didn't really know what to say about it. He was kind of like, is it real? <laughs> and I was like, of course it's real. And so I kind of just, um, I don't think I'd ever shared their channel with him before then. I might've said something here and there and he was probably like, who's Ollie and Jared and who's Brian and Missy. But, <laughs> um, anyways, so I kind of just showed him different things about them and their channel and different stuff like that. And I just kind of told him what was going on. And, um, he just, he was kind of skeptical about the whole thing because he was kind of like, you know, um, or not really like, um, into using like, he's the type of person, not we, he's the type of person that would rather just everything happen naturally than trying to do things, everything medically. But sometimes just life does happen that way. And it's not a bad thing. Um, I like that about him and everything like that. And I am too like that. So, um, just not maybe some things, maybe cause it's me going through it. I don't know. Either way, um, so I was really shocked and excited and everything like that. And so, um, when I, 
I was like, you know what, this is it. I'm going to apply. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to apply and tell them my story and explain everything. And if you haven't watched my infertility journey, I will, or not infertility journey, because I haven't been doing it that long, but um, my infertility story, I'll link it up here in the iCard. And so, yeah, anyways, so we, um, I was like, yeah, we're doing it. This is it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And as I was, um, reading through comments and different things like that on the videos, um, I kind of felt really selfish and not because I'm a bad person because I want another child. Um, but I felt selfish in this way that, um, I've got to experience motherhood. I, you know, we have an almost four year old child now. Um, and I've got to experience pregnancy and birth and all those different things. And, um, so I kind of just felt really selfish reading people's stories on, the, there. Cause a lot of people were telling their stories and different things like that. Or, and I just kind of felt sad, um, sad for myself and selfish, uh, but also sad for all these other people that have never got to experience that. And so, um, it tore me up inside and I just, I was really struggling with a decision whether or not to apply. And, um, I decided, um, after reading a few more stories that I wasn't going to apply. And, um, I think that every mother or every person, not every mother, every person should experience motherhood and should be able to experience like being parents and being pregnant and, feeling the baby kick for the first time and getting those sonogram pictures and all those things. And so I didn't apply because I really wanted to see other people experience that and follow their journey. And, um, then when I found out that they were, um, had more money, um, given to them to do more, it was like, it, it made me feel a little bit better about my decision. Like, um, I obviously I didn't do anything, but it made me feel better about the decision of not putting myself in competition with other people, um, and stuff like that. So, um, I was so excited to see like how many people won an IVF grant. And, um, so the second time around, I was like, if they did it again, I would totally apply like a hundred percent apply, um, there's no way I wouldn't this time, you know, I want to, um, especially because we've kind of said that December was the last month of us trying and stuff. So, um, when they announced it again, this, uh, this last year, I was like, I'm going to apply. I told my husband, I was like, that's it. I'm applying this year. Um, and then again, I, I just felt really selfish and, and I, um, I went back through and I watched all the other IVF grant videos that they had posted up from the previous year and just kind of, um, spent a little time reflecting on that. And, um, and then I decided not to apply again. Cause I just thought to myself, why would I do it again? If I felt selfish the first time and I kind of feel selfish again, do I just let my selfishness take over? Um, <laughs> and I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with the fact that I feel selfish or whatever. Um, but that's just kind of how I felt. And that's what I, I think that, you know, like I said, every woman should be able to experience motherhood and everything like that. And I mean, if I honestly had the money to donate to them, um, to donate, so not to Jared and Ellie, but to them being able to, um, add more people to the grants and stuff like that, or give more people grants or whatever you want to say, I would have totally done that. Um, so Anyways, that was just kind of my thoughts and opinions and the reasons why I didn't apply. Um, I've been kind of thinking about going really more into depth with, um, like, our stories of what's been going on in our lives and everything like that in a more intense video series about our infertility and miscarriages and different things like that. And I've been thinking about doing, um, like, Millie's birth story, but... For now, this is going to be it, um, and I just thought I would share that with you guys and just let you guys know the reasons why I didn't apply and how awesome I think that this is, and I hope that Jared and Allie get to keep doing this in the future, um, and hopefully one day I can be able to help donate um, money to that process for them um, so they can be giving away more grants. 
But anyways, I, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to hear more about my infertility story and um, my miscarriages and just kind of like the whole process of those things. And if you guys want to hear Millie's birth story. So um, anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.